Uh, following case is a 35 years old man uh, who was admitted to the emergency room uh, with the upper GI bleed. During the endoscopy, uh, he was found to have a duodenal mass, uh, which mass was excised as a emergency laparotomy. So the slide right now will go under the stage uh, with a condenser being up, and this is a 4x uh, magnification. So basically what we see here, uh, this is the uh, mucosa here, which looks relatively intact on this magnification, on this side too. Then there is a large area of ulceration, uh, lots of blood, and then we see that this lesion has uh, extending into the submucosa like a large crater like uh, lesion okay so let's move it a little bit uh, on this side so it's a fairly big uh, fairly big lesion and now looking at the mucosa uh, you can see that the mucosa is uh, intact okay with a nice preserved architecture with a long tall slender uh, villi and then as we move around uh, you see that the mucosa stops abruptly right here and then it starts the area of ulceration and all this uh, what you see here is a granulation tissue acute and chronic inflammatory processes um, right here uh, this is a 20x magnification which uh, gives you this this is a typical granulation tissue. Uh, you have a small capillary loops, vascular ectasia. Uh, you have chronic and acute and chronic uh, inflammatory process. So the lesion um, itself, uh, we see a lots of organizing blood clot here, eroding the wall of the small bowel. And then on this side, uh, when you look, actually there is a you can see that this is the area which is bleeding on this side and this is actually a vascular wall here with no elastic membrane which makes it a probably a large vein which is being eroded and uh, acute and chronic inflammatory process on this side so um, the, this lesion it's it's known on the field it's relatively rare it usually happens in the stomach, and this is where it was described in um, 1853, if I'm not mistaken, uh, by a French author which, uh, whose name is uh, Jules Lafoy. And uh, the name of this lesion is currently known as Jules Lafoy's lesion. And again, uh, this lesion is benign. Um, the problem is that it is a large, tortuous, submucosal vessel. Usually it's a vein, it could be an artery too but it's usually a vein uh, and because it's right under the submucosa and, and the mucosa is bulging uh, any trauma uh, at the surface of the mucosa can actually result in ulceration and then it will penetrate the vessel and this is uh, why it, uh, this vessel starts bleeding these people can uh, enter into hemorrhagic uh, shock pretty, pretty easily and uh, this, person, this patient actually uh, required two units of transfusion after the surgery because he really uh, bled a lot. Uh, it, it's a uh, it's nice uh, example of uh, Dulafoise lesion.